Let's work a few problems dealing with compound interest. Let's begin with the formula. The amount of money you're going to have after t years is equal to the principal times in parentheses 1 plus the rate, the percentage of interest you're going to get over n. n is how many times per year are you going to calculate the interest? Is it annually, which is one time a year? Semi-annually, two times a year. Quarterly, four times a year. And that is raised to the NT. Once again, N is how many times it is compounded per year. And T is how many years are you going to leave your money in the bank? So here is my formula for compound interest and what each variable stands for. And now let's work a problem. A sum of $1,000 is invested at an interest rate of 12% per year. Find the amounts in the account after three years. If the interest is compounded annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, and daily. So this is several problems in one. Let's get to work. Okay, so I have my formula in front of me. And I'm trying to figure out how much money I will have in the account if I invest $1,000. So my principal will be 1,000 times, that will be 1 plus, this said 12%, that's my rate. But change it to a decimal, move that decimal point, it's behind the 2 now, move it 2 places to the left, and take away that percent sign. So that would be 0.12 over n. Well, my first problem I'm working is to find out how much money I will have in my account if I compounded it annually. So how many times per year is annually? Just one. And we'll raise that to the one times. This said calculate this for three years. It'd be one times three. And the rest, I can let my calculator do some work. Be careful that this 1 times 3, it may be easier for you just to type in 3 because you know 1 times 3 is 3. If you have large numbers here and you don't want to multiply them first, make sure you keep that in parentheses when you type that into your calculator. So I will type in my problem. I will have 1,000 times 1 plus, and it's 0.12 divided by 1, close those parentheses. Now my calculator does know to divide before it adds this. And that is raised to the, and of course I could just say 3 or 1 times 3. But make sure if it's 1 times a 3, you put it in parentheses. And it looks like after 3 years, if I compound it annually, I will have. Instead of just $1,000, I now have $1,404. And that does say 928. We are talking about dollars here. So we will say 93 cents. And then to work out the other questions in this problem, they ask for semi annual. That means my N will be 2. So I typed in 1,000 times 1 plus. 0 0.12 divided by 2 and raise that to the 2 times 3 which is 6. Practice that in your calculator. You should get $1,418.52. And for quarterly, I will use 4 for N. Monthly, there are 12 months in a year so I'm using 12. And daily, there are 365 days in a year unless it's leap year. Okay, good luck on calculating compound interest.